Hello, people. And as a white male descended from the second fleet, I want to say I am so sorry. <laughs> On behalf of more people than I could ever know. A wise young lady once said, This is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I feel the same way. I knew, I found out about this and was asked to speak not even an hour ago. And at first, the prospect of doing this was daunting, but I have a lot to say. What farcical state has this feud that some dare call a government has been put in that forces a minor to have to get up and plead for his future? Shame. I'm not a superstitious person, but sometimes I look up at the sky and I imagine a bit of Greta's essence is in the smoke, saying, this is all wrong. I shouldn't be up here. I should be back in the bush on the other side of the state. But people aren't listening to the smoke. People aren't listening to us even when the emergency is directly in front of us. I don't want it to come to this. I don't want to have to speak like this. But when I lie in bed at night not able to go to sleep because I'm scared I won't live past 50, and I get told by the people in power that that anxiety is needless. That that kind of feeling is not justified, is not worthy of the attention of the people who actually can change something. Scott Morrison, are you seriously telling me that my lying in bed awake at two in the morning, unable to go to sleep, no matter how hard I try, crying, is needless? Another thing he said, was that we need more learning and less activism. Well, in my schooling, I learned about the people in history that made change and made the world the way it is today. I learned about the activists. My learning is my activism. And if ScoMo can't see that, his idea of learning is seriously skewed. The fact that I'm up here isn't right. The fact that I'm up here is a shame on the way the world is today. And I have lay in, lay in bed and cried about this very issue that I'm talking about right now. But right now, I see all of you, I see all of you taking action, and I feel amazing. Thank you so much for having me.
the common in the soil. No more coal, no more oil. challenges the destructive status quo faces the repression of the state, something that both land rights and climate movement can share. How dare the Queensland Labor government declare Wangan and Jalalungu people trespasses on their own land to justify the construction of the Adani coal mine? Shame. How dare the Victorian Labor government send in cops to break the legs of protesters peacefully blockading some of the worst climate criminals in the entire world. In a recent Extinction Rebellion protest, 36 people were arrested and handled brutally for, their, for using their democratic right to protest. They were given bail conditions similar to what bikies are given. One of these women who resisted those bail conditions successfully to the dismay of the cops was Lily Campbell, a student at UCID. Um, yeah. I'll invite Lily to come speak now. Thank you. Yeah.